love at first sight. Like instant coffee, they fell in love instantly. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests. This is a wonderful couple. They have been loving each other. And unlike the proverbial seven year each, they courted for seven years and then got married. Today, they are celebrating their 40th wedding anniversary. The beauty is, one person is celebrating it in New York and the other person is celebrating with Sunshine Toastmasters. <laughs> How lucky he is! And he is Mr. Vinod. <laughs> He was born in the year 1941, when the world war broke out. Oh, what a coincidence. He is a man of many interests and many experiences. When he was a teenager, he was bitten by the entrepreneur bug. He wanted to become an entrepreneur at the age of 16 in Delhi. So he set up a tea shop. First day, he did make some business. Second day, he was very optimistic he would get more business. But none turned up. The reason? The tea was nothing but colored hot water. From Dehradun, he shifted his base to Calcutta. The entrepreneur bug wouldn't leave him. He set up a shop to make budgies. This time, the budgies were good and a big crowd came in. They had their full and they disappeared in the melee. They forgot to pay the cash. For the second time, he became broke. He thought with his entrepreneurial skills, he can make a big buck in Bombay. So he moved his base to Bombay. First he thought he would try his hand in radio service. He was given a radio to fix the dial cord. He worked on it the whole night. Alas, the next day morning, the radio refused to make any sound. Then he thought, TV servicing will be much more challenging. So, he opened the TV. He was shocked to see the PCBs and ICs and the huge picture tube. Again from the next day, neither color nor black and white images came out of that team. His every failure is a stepping stone for success. So my friend Vinod said, enough is enough in India. And he migrated to the USA with his wife. He joined a Jewish company manufacturing gems and jewelry. Mind you, to join, work with Jews and to survive with Jews is a next to impossible. But Mr. Vinod not only survived, but he became a success and he was known as an expert in the field of germs and jewelry export. Not only that, he outsmarted the Jews and started his own gems and jewelry shop. And from that time, he tasted super success. When he was working in the Jewish company, the Jews and Jewelry Company, there was a pretty young girl, an Italian girl, Sandra, working as the secretary. He heard his American bosses calling her Sandra Honey, Sandra Sweetheart. We not heard. Why not you also try the same thing? <laughs> Next day, we also said, Sandra Honey, Sandra Sweetheart, First day, she tolerated. Next day, she put her foot down and said, Stop it, Mr. Venop. It sounds so real. <laughs> <laughs> then Mr. Venop thought, Why not we try this at home? So that day evening, he went home. He said, Ali, honey, get me some tea. Wife was looking curiously at him. Then after some time, he said, Ali, sweetheart, let's have dinner. She again said, what's wrong with this man? 
The next day, he tried the same thing with her. She said, stop it. I, it sounds so unreal. Mr. Vinod was really perplexed. What's unreal in the office? What's unreal in the office sounded real. Whereas what's real at home sounded very unreal. So let's the real love of this wonderful couple remained ever real in their homes forever. Happy anniversary Mr. Vinod and many happy returns of the day.